Hey, what's up guys? It's Kevin. Just making a quick video showing you guys what I bought, what I've been working on the past couple days. Um, now, there are some times that I feel like I'm pretty lucky when I buy stuff, and this is one of those times. I'm going to save the price of what I paid for the car until the middle or end of the video. It's fucking crazy. It's ridiculous. Anyway, um, this is a 97 Mitsubishi Eclipse um, Spider, of course. <clears throat> and it's not in horrible shape. The top is not in great shape. You see fucking clear tape, but it doesn't leak or anything. It seals properly. Interior is <clears throat> shit. I'd probably say a four out of ten. <clears throat> it's got, you know, it's coming apart here. Back seat's in good condition. It's got 155,000 miles. And um, let's see if I can get this shit to focus. Aftermarket radio. Let me what is that what the fuck is that that is a <sighs> hks turbo timer so you know where i'm going with this um automatic transmission fucking sucks but it shifts out good you know i just don't think that they should have put an automatic transmission in in a turbo model anything um <clears throat> let me start it up for you and the biggest issue with this car when i bought it is um the guy said that the motor is bad. The motor's bad and you change the motor. I got over there, I started up, it was actually really close. I was one day from them um, donating this car um, to, I guess one of the donations where you donate cars and they fix them and sell them. Um, so it has, starts up, motor sounds incredible. But the issue is when you rev it, it's got a rod knock. Right there. So I don't want to run it too long because I'm actually going to change the, the rod bearings out, take the oil pan off and do all that stuff. Uh, let me show you the engine because the engine actually has some, some goodies. Goodies. Everybody loves goodies. Um, there you go. 4G63. It has aftermarket headers. It has rebuilt turbo. Now, I did take the, the intake off to check for shaft play. There's absolutely none. I did drive it down the road. It boosts um, in uh, aftermarket blow valve, boost controller, all that good stuff. Aftermarket hard piping. It has the stock um, intercooler and all that shit, but this is basically the same motor that comes in the, uh, the Evo Evolution. These are actually known for water pump issues, transmission issues, and rod bearing issues. Um, thank God it's not overheating. I let it sit and run for a little bit. I drove it down the road to make sure it was getting into boost and all that stuff. Um, the only problem is the rod bearing issues, and it's doing it only at acceleration, so I'm hoping I can take the um, <clears throat> the oil pan off and not have any scarring of the um, the crank or anything like that. Um, body laws, <clears throat> as you can see, there's the intercooler. Now, body laws, it's, it's not in horrible shape. Now, it doesn't have the bumper because it's in the back of the truck. I couldn't get this thing on my fucking trailer because the front bumper sets way too low. <clears throat> so, um. Uh, let's go back in. Of course, I'll show you that. Here we go. Spider GST. Yeah. Anyway, um. <coughs> so yeah, pick this car up. Um. A lot of people ask me, well, how do you find cars so cheap? The only reason that I find cars cheap, if you're looking for a great car that's running and driving that's reliable that you can drive every day, you're not gonna find very many things that are cheap. That's the whole thing about having mechanical knowledge and be able to fix stuff. You know, you can get Honda Civics all day, every day, a dime a dozen for under a thousand dollars that's got a bad head gasket. You know, for me, it, it's about 50 bucks to change a head gasket probably two hours. <clears throat> Even with this car, raw bearings are gonna cost me about I don't know, 30 bucks, and hopefully I don't have any scarring on the crank, but um, I bought this car for $200. 200 fucking dollars. Now, I can get $200 for this, the front and rear seats. I can get $200 for the hood and the fenders and the headlights. I can get $200 for the door panels. So, I don't necessarily like buying Eclipses unless they're the kind of newer body style Eclipses. 
<clears throat> but I couldn't pass up. You know, they had one picture of this car on lawn on Craigslist and it just showed the exterior. I didn't know it was a turbo model until I got there. And once I seen it was a turbo model, he had it up for $900, which is still an awesome deal for, you know, any car that comes with the uh, the 4G63. Um, but I talked him down and got it for 200 bucks just because he was about to donate it the next day. So I'm going to put the raw bearings in this car. Hopefully it'll work out. Even if it doesn't, I'll still sell it to somebody. Somebody is willing to buy the motor to rebuild it just because you don't see a lot of cars with the 4G63s. And um, plus with the aftermarket parts, I mean, 200 bucks is the fucking turbo manifold or the full exhaust. It has a full downpipe and exhaust on the car. So that's what I've been working on. I'm working on some new videos. If you haven't already, check out Lady Zez channel and um, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.